Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 24th, the support of missions. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. 1 Timothy 6 verse 18 and 19 The mission of the Church of Christ is to save perishing sinners. It is to make known the love of God to men and to win them to Christ by the efficacy of that love. The truth for this time must be carried into the dark corners of the earth and this work may begin at home. The followers of Christ should not live selfish lives but, imbued with the Spirit of Christ, they should work in harmony with Him. He has given His people a plan for raising sums sufficient to make the enterprise self-sustaining. God's plan in the tithing system is beautiful in its simplicity and equality. All may take hold of it in faith and courage, for it is of divine origin. In it, or combined simplicity and utility, and it does not require a depth of learning to understand and execute it. All may feel that they can act a part in carrying forward the precious work of salvation. Every man, woman, and youth may become a treasurer for God, and there will be no want of means with which to carry forward the great work of sounding the last message of warning to the world. The treasury will be full if all adopt this system and the contributors will be left none the poor. Through every investment made, they will become more wedded to the cause of present truth. They will be laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. 1 Timothy 6 verse 19 if the plan of systematic benevolence was adopted by every individual and fully carried out, there would be a constant supply in the treasury. The income would flow in like a steady stream, constantly supplied by overflowing springs of benevolence. Inspired by the Spirit, August 24th.